to the New York Fashion Week vlog. These are some of my favourite, sorry, I'm swinging too much, sorry. <sighs> Travel sickness is gonna kick up in a second. These are some of my favourite vlogs to film every single year and I feel like they're some of your favourites too. But it's gonna be a little bit different this time because I have a new videographer. Her name is Rebecca. <laughs> Come say hi. You can fit your head in this little girl. <laughs> there she is. There she is. So things are a little bit different this season. I am very, very, very excited about this season of Fashion Month. Due to a lot of your recommendations and your comments on previous vlogs about how much work we do and how, you know, we should just take it a bit easier and enjoy it a little bit more. I completely agreed. So this season I have the most amazing lineup of shows ahead. But it's not going to be as manic, it's not going to be so back to back to back. And so because this is going to be a really fun few weeks, it's just me and Rebecca, no Butch, no Alex. It's a girl's trip to New York, that's the way I'm seeing it, with some incredible fashion shows mixed in. And honestly, we've got some amazing things coming up. I'm just so hyped about it. We've just checked into the hotel. At one hotel, Brooklyn. We stayed here last February also. We absolutely loved it. This is an absolutely supreme hotel if you're coming to New York. What's so good about it? It's across the river, so the view back is out of this world. I have a full view of the entire New York City skyline, plus Brooklyn Bridge. And then over the other side, whoo, I can literally see the Statue of Liberty right there. I don't think there's a better view of the skyline from a hotel than this one. And secondly, I kind of like the fact that it is a little bit further away. It feels a little bit more separated, a little bit more slower paced, a bit quieter. And it's right next to Dumbo. Dumbo is one of my favourite places in New York. Again, it's very cool. It's where the Soho house is. It's got a really cool vibe to it. Great food, great drink spots and it's yeah it's just a really gorgeous area here and i know a few of you are gonna say that last time i was here i missed a show this girl was late to the carolina herrera show and they wouldn't let her in that isn't because the hotel was further away there was an issue on the bridge that day when that happened so actually and i think i've mentioned it before but anyway so that was just down to traffic issues not the hotel otherwise I just love it here, absolutely love it. So we're back again. Let me give you a little tour whilst it looks really perfect. Sorry, this was my tripod. Got myself a coffee from the cafe downstairs. Again, amazing thing about this, this hotel. <laughs> me and Rebecca have this huge king size bed to share together. In there is a bathroom, which I'll get to. Nice little wardrobe space. Maybe I could put out all my makeup on here or something, couldn't I? Mm. Or all the Dyson products so I can do oh, all yeah. my hair nicely. We can watch some cute films. We can watch the Super Bowl. Mm. What, what day is it? Saturday. Fantastic. Usher. Usher, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll watch that here. Then if you look around here, we have where I just was on the hammock. But look, guys, do you see what I mean about the view? I mean, it is just, Absolutely fantastic, this view. And then Brooklyn Bridge. According to Rebecca, we also have some fantastic weather coming up. I purposefully didn't look at the forecast because usually that is a, a bad thing whenever I look at the forecast. So I didn't even look at it. Rebecca's looked. It's apparently getting warmer and warmer every day, which happened, weirdly, last February. It's me. Yeah, maybe it's you. Maybe you're our lucky weather bringer. Yeah. Good weather bringer, Rebecca. Last year, I remember, I brought about four huge, like, puffer coats didn't wear any of them. Do you remember? I brought a separate, a whole separate suitcase full of coats and didn't use any of them. They've just brought us a hummus crudite tennis plate. They, they knew we were coming, so obviously. Sweet. Dyson has sent over all of the products that I need. Obviously for weight, it's hard to um, bring all of my Dysons. And so they've loaned us a number of their products, which is just amazing. And then we have a lounge area. So we just have somewhere really great to chill. For me and Rebecca, this is like the perfect spot. I wonder what they're building down there, babe. Look at that now. I know, I'm intrigued. What is it gonna be, I wonder? Shape a bit. So whilst this obviously looks ugly now, this will look great later, but the main view, obviously, is the entire bridge. Oh, let's go have a little peek quickly. Uh, have you had a look yet? Yeah, I'm not even had a look at this. Ooh. Bathroom with sink, obviously. <laughs> with sink. <laughs> um, and then in here, yeah, so this is almost like a full wet room. So you get the bath, ooh, yeah, bath, shower, and then big mirror. So actually maybe this is where I'll put all of my makeup. I just wanna get everything laid out, ready, ready to go. So this is our bedroom. 
with the view. And then this does open as well, which is great. So you can like pull this open and you get full view. I mean, oh, look. So that's Statue of Liberty over there. Look one of New York Fashion Week. Um, so we're going tonight to a Tommy Hilfiger. First of all, a fitting for the show for tomorrow night show but tonight they're having like a cocktail event welcoming all their guests just kind of celebrating new york for the start of it so this is what i'm wearing this is what i went for a fitting for last week it's such a cool two-piece i know a lot of you will be like what are you wearing pajamas for but you've got to see past that into it's all about how you style it i was i just literally just filmed a tiktok and i was like it's about trusting the process just with a few little tweaks in the way you style it, like adding jewellery, adding a pair of heels, tucking it all the right places, pulling it in, pushing up the sleeves, turns it into more of a, a really chic, dressed down but glam evening look. So, and it's so my kind of thing. So loving this. And then Tommy just launched these really sweet little dumpling bags. So I have the beige one, put my makeup in this just makes it a little bit more evening so yeah really really excited I have like butterflies I'm so excited about this week and it's so beautiful now outside like all the lights are on it's completely dark me and Rebecca are super excited about just coming back later getting room service and just sitting with these windows open because I mean look at this view that's special isn't it that is unreal Evening look complete. Nice warm coat. I've only brought two coats for this week, so I'm hoping that they do me okay. I'm thinking a black coat goes with everything. So throwing that over the top. I really like this outfit a lot, actually. Right, off we go, Rebecca. Is there anything you ladies like to listen on the radio? Is this okay? Or? This is great. Yeah, yeah this, this yeah, is lovely and chill. It's really chill. Yeah, nice, this is nice. great. Horrible. Okay, so we are back at the hotel. Sadly, and very coincidentally, there was a shooting on the street of the event. And right now, breaking news, shoplifting, a shooting, and then parts of Times Square shut down tonight. The search for the gunman is underway. We got all the way over there. And then as we got there, we saw more and more sirens and more lights. And as we got closer, we realised that the entire street that we needed to turn on to go to the Tommy Hilfiger event was completely police taped off. So our lovely driver, Larry, bless him, drove us all the way there. Super lovely guy. He went and asked the police and they said, yeah, you're not getting down this street. It's, com it's a crime scene. So we've come all the way back crazy coincidence and just so so tragic so i was going over there for a fitting for tommy Hilfiger. so instead we've kind of worked out what i'm going to wear for the show over text so that's been all resolved obviously it's a shame about the event but can't be helped and there are much more serious things that actually happen this evening so larry turned around and we came all the way back home so we're now back at the hotel and it's only half past nine so we're deciding to have some snacks and then get an early night we're gonna look out at this incredible view and we're going to plan and organize our week aren't we rebecca has pages and pens we're gonna write down our week <laughs> like a kindergarten teacher. yeah yeah <laughs> Now you've got five minutes to write down the entire plan of the week. So yes, we're going to get a little bit organised. So yeah, not the way I expected this evening to go, but we're, we're safe and that is the main thing here. Just, just still very, very happy and grateful to be here. And tomorrow will be, will be better. So I will love you and leave you guys. I'll see you in the morning.
ready to go. I'm going to the Carolina Herrera fitting, then onto the Kate fitting. So I thought I'd just wear something super casual and cool, my usual vibe really. White tee, YSL blazer, Kate jeans, and then my cool new black boots that are very, very Kate. And there's awesome Longchamp bag. It's just such a gorgeous, like casual vibe. Do you think we'll need coats as well? No, it doesn't look too cold, does it? True, true. Okay, so this is my look for the afternoon. Have I even done that photo? Look at mine. It's I don't think I'm in it. I, I'm a silhouette. It's good to know that security is fantastic <laughs> in this building. In the Empire State. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, we are on our way to the Carolina Herrera fitting. I loved this last year. I mean, I, this is when I got my incredible gold shimmery dress, isn't it? <laughs> You look gorgeous in that. I'm excited to see this collection. Look how lovely it is out there. It's so cute in here. It's a little seating area. That's the dress. That's lovely. Oh, that is chic. That could look really chic, couldn't it? Just like a chocolate brown. I love that. I think that with your hair now. Yeah. Red, I just don't think red is my colour. Do you? I feel like red's really hard to wear and I always feel like you've got to have, not you, but anybody has to have the right tone red. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's just not my colour and also that'll be too big for me. Oh, that's <gasps> nice, babe. Oh, I love the that. Straight. And then the little skirt. Gosh, that colour's beautiful. That is gorge. Is this in the stores already? Not yet. Not Spring yet. It comes out end of this month. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. kind of love that. Okay. Maybe you've seen that print because I had Olivia Rodrigo wear that print. Oh, for yes. the Variety Awards. Thank you so much to Variety for this incredible honor. Yes, that's Amazing. it. I think it was a big moment for us, so we were very yeah. excited. Incredible. Oh, I do love Olivia Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. She's great, isn't she? She's the best. Oh, look at that. Everyone loves a chef's dress. Yeah, it's just so classic. It's beautiful. Okay. I think that would be fab though, wouldn't it? Yeah. I feel like that style is very you. Oh, lilac. Beautiful. Oh, it's got makeup. It's the same as the chocolate. It's the same, yeah. I, I really like that. Like. I like the ruching. Not one colour like this in a while. The chocolate is nice though. Do you not think the chocolate's a bit more... Maybe. Chocolate with your hair will be so good. Yeah, that's really what I would. said. That like beautiful, almost like bronzy tone. Yeah. yeah. And if you like accessorize with gold jewellery, it would be really yeah. hot. Yeah. Like this fashion week, I really want to look like me but the way I would wear, like, my style. Yeah, I'd love to see you in all three, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, this this is this is beautiful too, isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I love that, that's so fun. Yeah, I love the, love the heels. And then the bag. I think the purple's right. They're not an exact match, but I think it's close enough or you could just keep it with I almost don't know if I prefer the shoes and then this is like different purples. Mm. That was my initial thought. I'm not sure if this purple is quite right with the lilac of this, but the shoes work. A showstopper moment with the print. <gasps> oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh. Do you? I think I do too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're both gorgeous. In my mirrors in there too. This one's not fitting. Fitting went swimmingly, first choice, tried on, and there's no other need to try anything else on. It's perfect, so. I have a wonderful, wonderful outfit now for the show. Oh, look. That's similar to dog. Really? Yeah. Do you know what? I don't have... Let's try this colour. Okay, because I do have a lot of black trousers already, so it'd be nice to have something else, wouldn't it? Oh, that's gorge. Oh, that's very nice. Me. With the white or the black or the... Yeah, okay, so let's I'm definitely try it. That's so me, isn't it, that one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the my favourite shop now. <laughs> if this could just be my capsule wardrobe for the rest of my life, that this would is be... Good. Uh, yeah, mix and match everything. So, this is unreal. I'm gonna grab the belt and then like, we'll see what looks good. Thank you so oh, much. Oh my gosh, Rebecca, look at that. With the leather oh. lapels, leather pockets. That's unreal. With the black trousers, the belt, and the white and the little cami. ribbed cami. Ready for the first look of New York Fashion Week. 
Ooh, my hair is enormous. I've just air wrapped my hair and it just has a mind of its own. It looks huge and amazing. And I've put it with this incredible Prabal Gurung dress. I did have two. I have two beautiful choices. And this is what I thought I was gonna wear. It is absolutely stunning. The material is supreme. But actually, when the two arrived, this was in there too, and it just fits like a glove. So I've gone for this one. Um, yeah, huge big hair, nude Jimmy Choo heels. These just come in so handy for everything. I, it's not gold, but I kind of love this silver bulgari with it. Um, oh, perfume! I was looking for this. Okay, um, I'm really obsessed again with the Tory Burch Sublime Rose. It's such a stunning rose scent. If you love rose scents, this one has this very sultry, not too sweet, very, it almost feels like it's got a bit of violet in there with the rose. It makes it a little bit more sweet, but not candy. It's creamy, like a creamy rose. It really is sublime actually, it is stunning. So I'm wearing that. So this is probably one of the busiest days actually today in terms of it being back to back. We are going from Prabal Gurung, shooting a little piece with Dyson while we're there, which is exciting, and then moving straight on to Tommy Hilfiger show. So we have the whole thing with us, we're going to have a car outside, it's going to take us for everything. So I'm going to change in the car for Tommy Hilfiger, I've got a great look for that, it's just very me. This season was all about looking and feeling like myself at fashion week and not dressing up and feeling almost a bit like a character and as much as I love to dress up and it's so nice to kind of play a different me this year I just wanted to feel very much like me so as you saw at the cape fitting the pieces I've chosen oh god it gives me butterflies thinking about how amazing <laughs> they are Gurung show. Um, absolutely stunning venue. The clothing looked so beautiful with like the sunset. It was really something else. Um, on to the next show of the day. Tommy Hilfiger, hence my super cute preppy outfit. Welcome to my Brooklyn apartment. Oh God, I wish. I'd so love to move to Brooklyn. I'm a little bit obsessed with Brooklyn and Dumbo. So my kind of vibe. But this is a Brooklyn apartment. This is a really sudden apartment. Someone owns this and they obviously rent it out for studio hire. I'm here with my Dyson hair family. Very, very excited. We are filming some really exciting videos actually whilst I'm here. Just kind of taking advantage of the fact that I'm here obviously doing fashion week. And we're doing like fashion week videos on the air wrap and the supersonic and how i do my own hair as you know in previous seasons i've had larry king with me i've had chris long with me 
both Dyson ambassadors to do my hair for all of the shows, which has been the actual dream. And it's just always been so fun as well because I'm just such good friends with both of them. So it's always like really, really good fun. But this season, I just really wanted to do my own hair. Like, as you know, I use the Air app every single week. Um, I can, you know, do it with my eyes shut. I just absolutely love the product so much. So I thought, why not do a season where I do my own hair for all the shows? And then I'll just feel a little bit more me. Like I said yesterday with the clothing, I kind of just want to feel a little bit more like me and have my hair the way that I would have it every day and my clothing style to be just very me but elevated. So yeah, so I'm doing my own hair this season and really enjoying it so far. And so we are in this beautiful place in Brooklyn to get some really cool little styling videos of me getting my hair done for the shows. In fact, let me take you upstairs and show you. It's just so, so nice in here. This is the bedroom. Look at the light. Three huge windows, incredible like diffused light. This is stunning. Gorgeous chair, big mirror, beautiful bed, really gorgeous bathroom. Do you know, I really, and it's quite creepy that I love seeing other people's interiors and how they decorate their houses. Like this is so cool. I think the owners, they're like a, a young couple. The, I think the lady is a photographer. So they're both obviously like creative people. They've got a baby. I think they've they've gone to the zoo today <laughs> whilst we borrow the house. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with the aesthetics of this room. So chic. Right, so I'm going to get into this and then I'm going to get back into my Prabal Gurung look and I have my Tommy Hilfiger look. The idea being it's going to kind of look like I get ready here in this apartment and then go along to the shows and then we'll splice them together and it'll be, it'll be one big thing. So I am back into the Prabal Gurung dress again. Quite nice to get to wear it twice. Um, I've uh, wrapped my hair in full again to kind of replicate all of yesterday and then we just need one more shot of me leaving this beautiful place and then it will be spliced together with yesterday where I was at the show. So it kind of runs on, so it's like me getting ready and then I'm at the show. Yeah, what a great day. Beautiful light for it, couldn't be better. Um, and my hair, my hair looks so great. Okay. Okay, so I'll be like, ooh, zoom, zoom. Yeah, that's perfect. Same side. Yeah. One over the shoulder as well. Right, and now I'm back in my Tommy Hilfiger look for the second part of the shoot. So it's kind of like two different videos, how I did my hair on these days. One with the air wrap, one with the supersonic. And so I've got back into my outfit. I wish I had this room. I've literally just filmed a TikTok in here and it's so bright, amazing light, such a great backdrop. I wish I had this room to film in. It's so great. Anyway, so I'm not sure if I really got to show you yesterday my Tommy Hilfiger look. It's a super classic Tommy look. White shirt, navy blue trousers. Again, perfect for Tommy with the red, white, and blue. A classic trench, like medium length trench. Little Tommy belt. And then these super, these are super comfortable, these shoes. If you're someone who likes the idea of wearing heels more, but you find them quite uncomfortable, these are super comfy, big chunky heel. Yeah, these are really, really great. So. Yeah, from earlier when I had it all air up, I've literally just brushed it through with the comb attachment for the supersonic just to kind of relax the curls out a little bit and it's perfect now. This is exactly how I love my hair every single day. But honestly guys, I just want to uh, I'd really like to move to this apartment. This is just a really dreamy place to live. I absolutely love it. I'm filming this now just so that I never forget how fantastic this place is. <laughs> We are just at, um, this is the restaurant in our hotel, at One Hotel, Brooklyn. I've got the breakfast burrito, which is like, oh, perfection. Have you always had hotels? Yeah, it's amazing. kind of dog do you have? American Cocker Spaniel. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, oh, that's my dogs. third one. Like, really? the same breather. Oh. Like, I had two, and both, both you know, passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. They were like a very close age. Oh, and wow. now I keep one because I could take her everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, service dog. Oh, no, seriously. Gorgeous. Oh, I should brought Luna. I yeah. know. Oh, she called her Luna. Her name is Luna. Oh, oh my God. I'm Lena. Lena. And her name is Luna. Oh. 
than the doggy. Well. He's a little miniature dachshund. Oh, easy. Yeah, I know. He's only this easy big. Easy I know. He's amazing. I think it's, you... it's because the UK has I really know, strict laws on dogs. Yeah. Especially getting them back into the UK, it's yeah. difficult. So I know, they get Japan too. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. They get island. We are like in an island. Yeah, maybe I'm from that's Japan. It. Right. And, uh, yeah, yeah they're very fussy about it, so I, just, I could never be bothered to try. But I love him. He's my baby. Yeah, I get it. He's yeah. the best. What's his name? He's called Bo. Oh, Bo. Yeah, B-O-E. Oh. oh. Like the Vikings. Style. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so funny because he's so small and the softest say, thing you've ever seen. The tiniest, the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am looking glowy. Wow. Look how glowy I am. Really? Yes. I yeah. look so good. Okay, okay. Look so good. Hello. Okay, Lena has just finished my makeup. Full NARS look. I feel like me, but like so different, like enhanced. I feel really cool and so pretty. I feel so pretty. Um, I love the way that. Lena did this sort of chocolate, dark, smoky black eyeliner look. And then she's added some um, lashes just to the very outer corners that totally accentuate the eye. And then this beautiful, oh, this gorgeous cheek. It's just so kind of like undone, but perfect at the same time, which I think is so Nars. So I am over the moon. I'm just gonna get into my incredible Kate look now before we head to the show. So that was a real honour to have Lena do my makeup. She has been Francois Nars's right hand woman since before he launched Nars. Like she has literally touched the faces of every famous person imaginable and done their makeup for so many shoots and assisted Francois. It's really something special to have met her. She is the most wonderful, she's a Cancerian like me. So we very much kind of like bonded immediately and like vibed off each other, which was, which was really, really nice. It's moments like that that makes me believe actually in star signs and in astronomy and things like that because usually I'm quite skeptical but then when I often meet other Cancerians that are very warm and very like super friendly and sensitive people I'm like hmm okay maybe there is something in this but anyway so we just got on so well and I just love I love what she's done to my eyes she's kind of made me look like me but a little bit different like less bronzer sometimes I go a bit heavier on my bronzer because I'd love to feel tanned but actually I feel so much like cooler like this. I just feel so, I feel so pretty. It's so nice when you actually feel really good in your own skin. So I feel amazing now. I feel really amazing. So yeah, full face of NARS. I'll try and link a lot of the products down below, but um, this is like chocolate brown, like mambo eyeliner, with a little bit of black, Climax mascara. Um, she used a big mix of like light reflecting foundation with soft matte concealer um this color here is mainly breathless which is one of the afterglow balms i'm obsessed with right now it's just such a beautiful like almost coral undertone nude and it just it's really hydrating so thankful to nars for sending over a makeup artist because nars are doing the makeup tonight for the kate show so they offered to send me over a makeup artist to go to the show i am in love with this i also can't get over my outfit i feel the best i've ever looked this is what I picked yesterday in my Kate fitting, this incredible top, the leather jacket, Who Am I by Chick, apparently now, um, the most perfect black trousers. If you're looking for the best black trousers that I own and you're happy to spend a little more than average, okay, a fair amount more than average, you will love these trousers. If you're into luxury pieces, then these trousers are an absolute must. And then also the belt. The belt is just phenomenal phenomenal so this is my full look guys I feel so great I can't wait for this The show was spectacular. Everything that I could have hoped for and more. <laughs> 
so many incredible leather jackets again this season some with like really padded um wider shoulders which were gorgeous very much my kind of thing they had this sort of leather jacket again but slightly longer um more blazer vibes some incredible coats like wool beige wool black coats and then lots of gorgeous like tulle gathered silky tulle dresses it was stunning but again the atmosphere in that room with the floor that almost felt like it was like wet it was just absolutely stunning well i think we had the best seats <laughs> in the whole room we did we were right in the middle yeah. looking right down the center it, it was just a, it was phenomenal like the yeah. way the light hit all the dresses final day of New York I've no idea it's gone so fast it's absolutely flown by we've just been having such a fantastic time I think because it's just been so fun it's been flying so I'm putting on my skincare for the morning because we have two shows today our final two shows to be honest I didn't vlog yesterday we had an extremely extremely chilled out day no in fact we got up late I went and got us some coffees and some breakfast. Then I went to the gym and did like a good hour and a half workout. And then we went out into Dumbo to the time, to the time out market and got some food. And then we had a gorgeous walk across the Brooklyn Bridge, which was so, so nice. A little chilly, like a little chilly. It was definitely the coldest day yesterday, but it was great. We just went to Shake Shack. I got a coffee, coffee custard smoothie thing. And we just went for a little walk across the bridge. And then by the time we got back, it was like five. And the Super Bowl started at like six, half six. So in honesty, we then just stayed in all night and watched the Super Bowl. And then we ordered grilled cheese and fries. So it was just a really great day of like rest and chill. And it meant that I could edit all my photos, all my videos and, and kind of get up to date. So today I am completely up to date and just have a couple of things to post as soon as they're signed off. I've got the Carolina Herrera show to start off the morning. I cannot wait. Yeah, two amazing shows today. Carolina Herrera and then Tory Burch. Things I've just put on. I bring, I have these little tiny plastic bottles with me so that I don't have to bring enormous bottles of skincare. So in here, like I've got my Illumier MD exfoliating solution. And here I've got my Caudalie Vino Perfect Toner. Then I've got my teeny tiny clay de peau hydro softening lotion. Is that Rebecca? Rebecca's back. Um, and then my Codely eye cream, Codely Vino Perfect serum. Then my Codely Reservatrol lift serum. Oh my gosh, Rebecca's here with the coffees. Final day, final day, babe, though, of New York. Can you believe it? Honestly, that's long. Yeah, I, I genuinely can't believe it. Because we're here for five nights, but it's just gone like that. It just feels the most chill. Yeah, the most chilled, wonderful week of Fashion Week. And I could not feel happier and more chilled out. I've just absolutely loved it. Last night was fun, fun wasn't it? Yeah. Watching the Super that. Bowl. And then Beyonce was in new music as well. Yeah. And then, yeah, so I don't know if you guys saw, but it was just absolute ooh, marketing genius so during the super bowl there was a very zan advert of which i can't even comprehend the amount of money they've paid beyonce to be in that very zan advert verizon oh is it verizon yeah like verizon like the horizon yeah oh is it yeah. i thought it was verizon okay <laughs> Ver verizon verizon yes yeah, so the beyonce was in this verizon ad and then at, right at the end and it's all about how to break the internet and she's trying to do loads of things and then at the end she's like release the new music and I remember Rebecca went oh I didn't really I didn't really sense it but she was like oh and then went looking and then suddenly Beyonce at that exact time released her new album and like a teaser song two teaser songs marketing genius so I've just got that Texas Hold'em song in my head now and it's 
so good. So just to finish off the uh, face then, I then added some of my Illumi AMD Acne Balancing Solution. This is just like a salicylic acid serum, which I just find really, really helps me with balance, especially on my forehead, balancing out little bumps and things. To finish the Clay Depot, I love these minis. Save my life. The Protective Fortifying Emulsion, which is like my day cream. And I have the, the nighttime blue version with me too for night. So that's my full skincare. Final, final thing is the Clay Depot SPF 50, which is like my favorite SPF. And then that'll be it. I don't know if you saw, I put up a TikTok actually of my on-flight beauty routine. I'm so happy with that routine now. I've like curated my own little bag of perfect miniatures that I need and use the most. I really took actual time to be like, right, what do I need when I'm on a flight? I want like something glowy and I want a lip liner and I need something for my brow and I need like a, a really good lip, tiny lipstick. And I've kind of curated these tiny, like a little assortment of tiny miniatures. It's really, really good. Right, so that's it. Today's skincare complete. <laughs> I'm excited to fly first. Yeah, so yeah, guys, on the, um, for our flights home tomorrow. Rebecca's actually coming back to England tomorrow to see her family, which was like a last minute thing. But when I booked my tickets to come to New York, to fly back first class was about 200 pound more than business. So I was like, oh, treat myself. So what? I still can't believe how cheap uh, Yeah, place. I couldn't believe it either. So I was like, sod it, I'll get um, first class then. So tomorrow I'm <laughs> flying home first class. It's well bougie. You're gonna look well bougie. I know. Leave me in business. I know. Leave, leaving you in an awful business. I'm gonna. <laughs> if it, I'm hoping it's the same flight, um, the same plane that I got on the way here, because it's the new, the new BA planes. Ooh. And they're so nice. You get your own little booth. Whereas the old planes are the stupid like back to forward business seats, oh. and they're so crap for the amount of money you pay, the thousands you pay to sit in business. Oh. They're not good, well, so I'm so, hoping. I very rarely fly business, so I'm excited. Well, do you know what? Actually, we can find out if you go to book your seat. Have you found where you want to sit? Oh, yeah, I think it was new. Was it? Was it all facing forward? All facing forward, one, two, one, layout. Oh, great. Yeah, well, if in, if, if so, then then it's fine. Yeah, it's new plane. So. Right, so I've added a layer of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which is stunning. It's definitely my kind of... By the way, the vlog isn't sponsored by NARS. It's just because I'm working with NARS on a few... Oh, I mean, look at my skin there. Looks blurred. It's because I'm working with NARS on a few other things, and so I've got loads. I've literally got this gorgeous, this really gorgeous bag. It's a NARS little case, and they've filled it with products for me, which is just unreal. So I've, I've been working with, it, with them on another project whilst I've been here. So I'm just really enjoying all the products. So I'm gonna go with that. Then I'm gonna go with the Lumine CC. Obsessed is not the word for this, but I really like using deep tan for my contour. It's just really, really lovely and more natural. So for this, for contour too, by the way, I really love this Vive 117 foundation brush, but it's a really great little stippler for things like contour. So what I, what I do, because I know this obviously looks crazy, what I do is I kind of lay it out in the areas where I want there to be some contour. Then I'll go into a bigger fluffy brush that I would use for bronzer and then use that to diffuse out the edges. And obviously this hasn't got any extra product on it. So that helps to just blend it in rather than adding more product. Plus, because this is a complexion product, it's also helping to like blur and perfect the skin whilst it goes on. So you kind of get that double whammy by using a bronzer that is also a complexion product. But look how nicely this just diffuses it into the skin, into the hairline, etc. This is looking so lovely and natural now. And then final thing, is I go back to like the foundation brush that I used, and just help to then just chisel a few bits out, make sure it's definitely blended around the edges. A bit like an underpainting method, I guess, but almost using your foundation brush as an eraser. And I find that works so beautifully. This, I don't know where this lip liner has been all my life. Halong Bay lip liner from NARS. If you like a light lip, this is really beautiful. It'd be especially great if you want to like apply this like all over the lip and then go around the outside with a slightly darker lip. Like, it's the most perfect like 
lip tone. Well, for what I like. I, I personally really like nudes that are peach pinks. So pink with a peach undertone suits my skin the most, but I mean, look how beautiful that is. I'm just gonna use Mocha from Anastasia, which is a bit darker. Now to go around that. See, like they're not too different, but that's just enhanced the shape. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And then over top, obsession with this is real. It's so like hydrating, but glowy. It adds pigment. This is um, the NARS Afterglow in Breathless. It's the lightest color in the range. And it's like a peach, I'll have a peach coral, but it's a balm and it adds this gorgeous sheen, that lovely glow, but it's not crazy. Like it's not going all over your face. Like say the road peptide balm, which I love, but it's quite gooey. Okay, we're getting there now, guys. I'm just gonna do some highlight, some Carolina Herrera highlight, and it's absolutely sensational. Also got their cute little brush too. And I'm going to use, I absolutely love these. These are the lip and cheek blushes in 31101. I don't know, that can't be the name of it. <laughs> or is it 1070? Either way. They're kind of lip and cheek colours. In fact, what kind of colours are on here? But these are gorge on the cheeks. Really, really subtle, like blending, really, really pretty. Dab it in. My dress for this, as you remember from the, the other day, from the try-on, it's like lilac, green, black, so I can definitely have kind of a cute pink cheek to go with the lilac tones. Yeah, it'll work really, really nicely. Oh, pretty. Oh, this is gorge. This is Nectar. This is on the little Carolina eyeshadows in Nectar. Look at that shade. That's so pretty. I'm just going to do a really standard me matte brown eye. Literally just using a NARS bronzer. But then, let's put some of this little cutie. Oh, that's gorge. Let's put that. I kind of want to put that in the middle it sort of catches the light. It's just a little beam of light through the centre. Oh, that's so nice. It's just catching the light beautifully. It's a little bit of something, so it looks a bit wet look, but it's not overdone. Mm. What else I'm gonna do? And I'll just do the Carolina Herrera mascara. What time is it, babe? Uh, 25 to nine. What? Oh God. Okay, face is done. So happy with this. It's just super glowy, my usual vibe. I'm gonna air straight my hair. It's already, technically already really straight from yesterday because I've pretty much just been keeping it quite straight. I'm just really enjoying straight hair right now. Obviously, I just wanna make sure it's perfect for today. So I'll just do a really quick re-straighten. A bit of the Red Ken One United spray, just for a little bit of something. And then with this, I'm gonna put it on the dry setting, so it's either wet or dry, and obviously my hair's dry, so. Also, when you put it down and you're not picking it up, it turns off, and then as soon as you pick it up again, it kind of gets itself ready to go. I can't rave more about this. Rebecca's tried it here for the first time too, and she's just like, wow. It doesn't flatten the hair. Do you know, like if you have like a straightener with a hot plate in it? This has no hot plates, just to reiterate that. If you add a straightener with a hot plate in it, it clamps the hair, pushes it together and heats it through, which in turn flattens it. Whereas this is literally only using air. So it's almost like a very precise hair dryer. Like it's all about the flow of the air. There's no hot plates, nothing's clamped. And so you have straight hair that has volume in it. It's miraculous. So if you're someone who usually dries and straightens your hair every morning or you know a couple of times a week and that's your routine then this is for you because it will speed up the process plus it's not damaging the hair that's it hair done makeup done and i think i am going to put a little bit of hairspray on top for the little flyaways i was really enjoying just tucking my hair back and leaving it back at the moment just really sultry so i might do that i was thinking that i might potentially put the smallest little bubble right in the very bottom of this the very 
ends to pull them together could be kind of cute. Let's see, by the way, gorgeous new knit. This is so nice. I'll leave this link down below for you, but it's so, so cozy. I've been loving just throwing this on while I'm doing my makeup. Fully ready, full glam hair, gorgeous little Carolina Herrera earrings, and then the full look. I'm really excited about this show. What colour is this? The shade was so stressful. <laughs> we were accidentally given the wrong address for the show. No one's fault. I think it was complete miscommunication. And so we ended up going to a show space 20 minutes away. We were luckily really early. We were there like 20 odd minutes early. We were there like congratulating ourselves. And then we're like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. And then we spent 20 minutes frantically trying to message people like we're at the wrong place. Does anyone know the address? Does anyone know the address? Oh, it took until 10 past 10. The show started at 10. It took until 10 past for someone to be like, oh, it's here, it's here. Like, get in a cab, get in a cab. So we got in a cab and all, the whole team, like, I'd booked, we had Brian, and like, it's not started yet. I'm on the Instagram, it's not started yet. And we're like, go, go, go. And then I ran in and then everyone was still waiting to go open the lifts. And it was like, thank goodness, because I couldn't miss that again. If the camera's shaking, it's because it's because we've just been taking pictures. So cold. <laughs> it's so cold today, and I've just I've been without the coat on, obviously taking pictures. So when you see those pictures, guys, I'll go back and look at those pictures and give them a like, just because I was freezing. And it's about to snow. Oh, yeah, it does feel like it's about to snow. We've got some great pictures. Which made though. it? You manifested it. We made it. This girl is so positive mm. in the. the most stressful of situations, mm. like the fact that you were like, no, positive vibes. Yeah, we've got well, this. Like positive this vibes. is happening. We're getting there, and we yeah. had a great taxi driver as well. Actually. Yeah, we did. He was really good. Wasn't he was like, it? I'm getting you there. He was like, we're going, we're going. So anyway, right, let's let's, let's head towards the taxi. Go get a hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, we need to go get. We're gonna go get some lunch now. Probably at the place in the hotel again because it's really really delicious. I really enjoyed that actually. <laughs> I totally had the same thing. Yeah, me too. I might have that burrito again actually. <laughs> we'll go get some food. Take a few more pictures for the Carolina Herrera work that we're doing. And then, um, yeah, we've got a good load of time actually, so I'm gonna go do a workout, I think, before get ready later for the next show. But, oh, thank goodness we got there, guys, because <laughs> I was like, no, we can't miss this. We can't miss this. It's our final night in New York. Like I said, the time has flown, literally like that. So, so quickly, we've just had the most amazing time. I can't believe we've already been here for like nearly five nights. The sun is just going down. All the lights are just starting to start twinkling. Genuinely, I think this is my favorite hotel now in New York. Really love it here. Anyway, I'm gonna start getting ready now for the Tory Burch show, final show of New York Fashion Week. I might actually take off all my makeup and start again. I've just been to the gym. I've done a good like hours gym routine. I've worked out three times this trip. That has never, ever, ever happened before. I don't think I've ever worked out properly at Fashion Week. I mean, actually, no, I tell lie. Last New York Fashion Week, I tried to do, I tried to do a couple of workout bits in the room, and I fell off after like day two, and was like, oh, I can't be bothered. So, I'm proud of myself. Three really good workouts, so I'm feeling great. Yeah, so I might start again because my face is feeling quite dry now, probably from sweating. <laughs> Final show, Tory Burch show. Really looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, all right, let's get ready. Face of makeup complete. I am glowy and nourished again. <laughs> Nothing worse than that horrible feeling of super dry skin on your face and having to put more makeup on top. I'm thinking I might try a side part this evening, potentially, but I want it to be 
I'm gonna do a side, oh, that's quite cute actually. Quite like that. I'm gonna do a side part. And my hair is currently straight from the air straight, but I want to put in like a really loose wave. So I'm gonna air wrap. I don't usually air wrap from dry. So I find you always get slightly better results from wet, obviously, because the bones of the hair set into place when they go wet to dry. But what I'm going to do is dampen the hair with lots of the One United spray and then start going over that with the air wrap. And yeah, I just want a really loose wave. So again, now I'm gonna put some more on just so it's sort of dampened again. Okay, then I'm just gonna pin, pin, and then hairspray it. Highest heat. Off, clip, spray. So like I said, the look I'm going for is really like undone curls, like even almost not there curls is what I'm sort of hoping for, like they look like they've fallen out. I just don't want to have straight hair, that's kind of the point. And I'm going to like tuck it back, it's got some nice, that's nice, like lovely movement, it's really big. Mm, I love that size, okay more spray. I'm going to spray down here, yeah, it's really pretty. Okay I like that, that's gorge. Right, let's hope the other side does a similar thing. Gently persuading, and I'm obviously I want to tuck that. Do me your simple in the front, and then if I like turn, it's like, oh, I've got some movement. I've got some bouncy, bouncy movement in the hair here. I love it. Right, I am ready for my final show of New York Fashion Week. I'm in my Tory Burch dress. Super happy with it. Rebecca has been a dream. I managed to pin it at the back. So just to pull it in a little bit more and um, give it a tiny bit more shape in my body. Cute little Tory bag. Also, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, it's quite funny because obviously I'm here for Fashion Week with Rebecca only and Alex is missing Fashion Month this season. Literally the only reason being that Rebecca lives up in Chicago, so getting her to New York is actually a lot more inexpensive than flying two of us over to New York. But secondly, because this season I've really stripped back my schedule and I've only attended shows of partners that I work with a lot and, and brands that I work with and have a really great relationship with, it's actually meant my schedule's been so lovely and chilled. And so as a team we all chatted about it and we realised actually maybe I don't need Alex here to capture all the content and I can do it myself. And also the way that we've kind of pivoted content as well, which you may have noticed, like I do a lot of TikToks, I do a lot of reels, and I film all of that myself. And so actually in the end, it kind of made more sense for me to film the majority, give Rebecca the camera to take any outfit shots, but otherwise having Rebecca here means logistics are all sorted, all my samples are here and steamed. She's like my right hand woman who I really, really need here to help me with all those little things and treat me like a princess. <laughs> which I like, and Alex doesn't do quite so well <laughs> when he's playing. He does really, but Rebecca does it extra. Yeah, but it's really funny because one of the photographers that we see all the time, he, um, he was like, is Alex not here? And Rebecca was like, no, no, it's me and Vic this season. And he was like, oh, why? <laughs> Wasn't he? <laughs> and Rebecca was like, because, because I'm here, we're having a girly trip. And then today he asked Rebecca if we're getting a divorce. <laughs> I so I feel like the rumour mill has started. That's why I'm like, oh, that's how rumours start. I know. So now the rumour is that we're getting a divorce. And you're remarrying me. <laughs> yes. And Rebecca is my new, <laughs> my new partner. <laughs> to be fair, we'd have a very easy, lovely life. Yeah, we would. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Yeah. So yeah, I just thought that was quite, quite funny, but also quite sweet that obviously we're known to be together all the time at Fashion Week. And so obviously between some of the paps that we know, it's probably like... Why is Victoria here without her husband? But yeah, that's how rumours start, guys, so.
show as ever. In fact, I'd probably go as far as saying that might be one of my favourite Tory Birch collections ever, actually. Just some really great pieces. I love the overall styling of the whole show completely, actually. Like, the whole vibe was really cool. I've been to shows before in that particular venue inside the public library. It's beautiful. And every time I've been, it's always like each designer does it in a slightly different space in there. So in in the past I've been in there in massive rooms, other times in like more smaller halls and things, whereas that was literally almost in the corridor in between a number of the rooms. So it kind of felt really intimate, really close together, just like a one big long runway up. It was really gorgeous and it was just a really fun, upbeat vibe in there. New York Fashion Week, over. Favourite fashion week ever. Mm. And we're back, and this smells flipping good, babe. Yeah, it does. Can you smell it? Oh, wow. Mac and cheese, and oh, yeah, margarita flatbread. Oh, by the way, these um, beautiful pajamas. What was the brand of this, babe? Bol and Branch. Bol and Branch. Yeah. These were sent over so kindly. Surprise gift from the Prabal Gurung team. They sent them over just as like a gorgeous little gift from Bol and Branch. Organic um, cotton. They're so comfortable. So I've been wearing these all week, loving these. So we just found out as well that tomorrow a snowstorm starts. We're getting an 8 a.m. flight. So the snowstorm is meant to start somewhere between 4 and 6 a.m. And obviously we're meant to be taking off at 8.05. So I'm praying that we can take off okay and just get out the city before the storm because it's meant to be, it sounds pretty bad actually. So fingers crossed. Oh, the tomato sauce is really like marinara -y. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning.